I think what first drew me to apply for the apprenticeship was it just seemed like a really unique opportunity and I'd never really seen anything like that before and obviously I did have an interest in it as well. At the start, I, I'd finished you know, GCSEs, left school and I was thinking to myself, you know, what am I going to do next and I need to apply for something. I was looking at the government website and I saw this and uh, yeah, it just you know, ticked all the boxes and it sounded really cool. So we've been here for almost a year now. Um, I started off doing pigment analysis, so some like spectrophotometry, um, HPLC, and then I moved on to doing flow cytometry, which was really good. I've also been doing nutrients more recently, but as well as that, I've been taught how to do the sampling on the Quest, so doing the L4 and E1 sampling. Um, some benthic survey I've been involved with too. It's been a mix, it's been lab-based, so uh... A good lab practice, being safe in the lab, using PPE, uh, just you know, using basic equipment, uh, calibration, that sort of thing. And then there's also been field work training, so uh, sea survival, uh, our powerboat training, the rib, VHF radio, and there's just been such a wide variety. We've also been involved in lots of outreach throughout our apprenticeship so far. Uh, it's been working with the National Aquarium, going to the events there. Uh, well, we've also been going to some of the local colleges, again, to speak to sort of younger primary school aged children, just to show them what, what sort of science happens at PML and how us, as sort of the, younger, the younger members of staff, how we're involved and how it's a sort of career that they could get into even at a young age. It's been great here and I've, I've really enjoyed my experience so far and there, ha there has been challenges but <clears throat> I've sort of taken them on and and almost used them as a sort of learning experience and I'd say definitely it's the sort of transition from being at school and just having your whole day laid out and what you know what you're going to do from you know going to such a dynamic sort of environment you know some days you're going to see and it can be really rough and you know, you've got the elements against you and it's a lot of physical work and then some days you're stuck in a lab and you've got to really analyze something so it would probably be how dynamic the sort of work environment is here but again it's it's never boring. Yeah, I think I agree with you there. Like, I've really enjoyed the time here so far too, but it has been quite a challenge coming into such a big organisation and you feel like everyone here is like a complete expert at what they do and you're obviously coming in with way less knowledge than everyone else is and just trying to like find your feet, I guess. I think some of my best moments have probably been when I've been out on field work and it's just been like really beautiful out there and yeah, this is really good. <laughs> it's like hard to believe that I'm in the position where I can be doing stuff like that for my job. That's probably when I appreciate it the most when I'm out on the water. It's, it's difficult to pick an exact moment which is you know, the best out of them all, but uh, I'd probably say we meeting uh, Princess Anne, a member of the royal family, that was, that was pretty special. I definitely feel part of PML. Everyone here has been really welcoming and accommodating to us so far, haven't they? I thought it might be weird because obviously everyone's like an expert and really knowledgeable and stuff and I didn't know if they'd be like, oh, who are these Who are these people who just come in and they don't know anything. But yeah, everyone's been really lovely and really accommodating and nice to us. A lot of people here are, are double my age and a lot older than me and you know, it's, it's strange coming into an area where people have been here for, for years and that, you know, they're such experts and and they really know this place and, and you know, we've only been here a year but everyone has been so welcoming and they just go through everything and make sure that we're competent with it and, and then they just they, you know, they, they give us the responsibility, they let us do it and, and they're, so, they're so good with us. Yeah, I would definitely recommend apprenticeships because I think nowadays so many people are going to university that it's kind of taken the value away from it a little bit. So with the apprenticeship, you sort you get all the knowledge that you need and also the experience, which I think is also very important, just as much as the actual knowledge itself is. And it's sort of a, it's an opportunity to get hands-on experience and sort of integrate within a company.